Hello my soccer universe. After a break we're getting to part three of the Champions League jersey review. This time we're looking at groups E and F and I gotta say these are two really really exciting groups uh, with a very eclectic mix. A couple of really big teams in there as well. So really really excited. But before we get into the jerseys as always uh, I'm rating all these jerseys on a scale from 1 being the worst to 10 being the best. All the pictures that you've seen I've taken off uh, the Football Kit Archive, a web page that I can uh, recommend to you warmly. And we're going group by group and within the group I'm choosing a sort of alphabetical order, namely how do I call this team and that's how I sort them alphabetically. And I would say we'll get started in group E, first team is Atletico de Madrid. And we're seeing here a very classic looking Atletico home jersey or do we? I'm totally fine with the way the striping is done. I think it looks really, really cool. Um, I just don't like the red sides on the sleeves. It's basically the way uh, this looks to me is a red jersey where we put four white stripes on the front, which yes, gives it a classic Atleti look, but it is not perfect. I think the striping should continue. And most importantly, I think the striping should also be on the sleeves kinda. But Atleti is doing the most with a template that has been very much maligned. I actually think this is a really, really nice look looking shirt. The sponsor, yeah, I have my problems with that, but it's not a super ugly sponsor per se. I still think it's good enough for an eight star rating. The away jersey uh, has divided quite some opinion. This has been used for the 120 year anniversary of Atletico. Uh, and it's basically going back to the first look when I think they were still uh, Club Atletico Av Aviacion. Uh, so they had the half, half white and uh, blue look. What I don't get is why the sleeves then have to be all in blue. I think if you go for the half, half look, make the sleeves also comply with the half, half look, either by having contrasting sleeves or go one side entirely in white, the other side entirely in blue. I understand we have the collar and we have the um, sleeve cuffs that are alternatively colored to kind of give a little bit contrast, but I honestly think it would look better this way. It still looks a little bit odd uh, for Atleti, but I know this was a very popular jersey among Atleti fans going back in his history. It's always going to please the fans. And so I will not um, really down that look a lot. I also think that the old crest looks actually pretty uh, cool to see that it's just again the sleeves the sleeves the sleeves the sleeves i think you could have done something special here and you have actually both options uh, if you look look at to have either full raglan sleeves or you could either have uh, you 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 could even have a regular sleeve uh, cut so that you put the whole body like regular in half half and then you make the sleeves alternately colored like fan or does appear and we'll see that later on this for me it's definitely a little bit of a chance missed and that's why I'm gonna go only with seven here. The third jersey, yeah, I mean, it's a Barcelona away jersey with black Atletico. Again, uh, third jerseys are always a crapshoot if you would like. I personally would prefer if a third jersey takes a different color, but then still makes a reference to the club's original colors, which is not happening here. Uh, and you know, the, this turquoise does not scream Atleti to me. For me, this is a four star uh, jer jersey, nothing more special. Let's go to Scotland, to the Scottish champion Celtic. And when I first saw this shirt, it was weird. Then, of course, this is, I think, in the Celtic offices, they have the stained glass windows. This is where the inspiration is coming from. So you have kind of this, uh, it's not the strict stripes, but there's this kind of stained glass effect in it. And as mostly with Celtic shirts, the color combinations work quite well, especially if you add a little bit of a yellow, like on the sponsor in there too. The Duff of its sponsors, of course, not worn in the Champions League. They have uh, their own sponsors, which I will show you when we look at the third jersey. Um, I'm not sold on the black accents, to be honest. I can get on board with what they're trying to do with the hoops. I'm not sold on the black accents at all. Um, and so I think the jersey looks a little bit messier than it actually needs to, in a way. Um, 
I think I like the idea, but the execution is a little bit lacking. So I'm going to give this seven here. The away jersey in charcoal gray with a little bit dark green doesn't do much to me, honestly. I mean, I like the little pattern that they have around the collar and the sleeve cuffs. Uh, but it's a jersey that's a little bit blah, but it's not a bad jersey, it's just nothing that excites me. Um, for that reason, I'm gonna give this five stars. Um, and I have to say the third jersey, and you see here the league version, and I also show you the European version, you have the Celtic FC Foundation on there. This was worn away to Feyenoord, where I still wonder the European Cup final in 70, uh, they could play in the for home and away in the uh, proper home jerseys, both teams. I think it will still have worked if they do so uh, in that encounter. But that, that aside, um, I like that there's a little bit more green in there. Uh, the swirly pattern that's in there, I guess there is some reference. I mean, it looks a little bit like a labyrinth. Um, it's odd, but it's Celtic. This is more Celtic to me than uh, the uh, away jersey was. Um, but it's not more than that either. I think it's also um, kind of in the, I, I, I don't know what category. I'm gonna go six here, but Celtic have probably released one of the best shirts this season in this anniversary jersey, uh, which goes right back to the classic look. And this is how a hook jersey should look like. I mean, I kudos, no sponsors on there. Even the crest is in white, it's there, but it's not there. Uh, the Adidas logo is white, white out. This is an absolute crazy, cool looking jersey it looks retro as retro can can be absolutely love it what i don't love is the insane price that they put on this one but this is a straight 10 out of 10 i would say couldn't be happier of having seen this jersey would, would have loved if this was the regular home look for just one season let's go to the dutch champions Feyenoord, which actually are the group seats who now uh, switched over to Castori. And I have to say, um, they had some really great Adidas shirts for the last two seasons. And I'm not so sold on what Castori is doing here. I mean, uh, they're not messing up the fair not look per se. I mean, it's so classic. You have the red, you have the white, and then you have the contrasting sleeves. This is how it's done, Atleti. Um, the color is already a little bit odd, to be honest with these specks of red and white going over. I would have preferred to just keep the color solid uh, or, you know, if you need to have some color there, okay, make one part white and then, but don't have the outline on top. Same thing goes for the sleeve cuffs. That looks weird. I also, I know this probably should look a little bit more traditional, but I'm not so sh sold on the stripey shadow pattern in there. Honestly, Feyenoord jerseys look best plain, as plain as they can be. And that's where this one is lacking. I mean, again, it's classic fan art. I'm, I'm really, really nitpicking here. Um, it's still good enough for a seven star, but I have to say, I am I would have expected probably a little bit more for the Dutch champions. Um, if we look at the away jersey, that's a little bit more adventurous. I have to have to say, I actually do enjoy this one. And, and you know, here Feyenoord doesn't have a, like a standard template, I feel, at least not in my mind. So you can go a little bit crazier. Uh, green is the color of Rotterdam. So you do a little bit uh, greenish, bluish color here. Uh, interesting pattern. I know it probably has not much connection to the city, although I think they have a house complex. It reminds me of like these cube houses that they have in Rotterdam, which actually, if that's the uh, inspiration, would be a really, really cool one. It's a fun jersey. Is it a great jersey? No, nah, but it's a fun jer uh, jersey. I'm also going to give this seven. Yes, I like this one as much as, as, as I do the home jersey. Uh, the third jersey takes, of course, the colors of Rotterdam in green and white. I think that's also nice, but I think the green could be a little bit fuller, a little bit more like the Celtic green that we have the Dan, Dan, and then would like this better. So I toned this down. It's a, it goes a little bit in the end. Also, I'm not sure the crest in green and white, if it looks as good as the crest in uh, red and white with a little bit black around. So I'm going to go five here. And then uh, one for the Geo Nerds. Again, black with, I think, a yellowish green. And I think this is a map on there and that's why i like it uh so i actually think there's something really cool here uh, i wish the sponsor wall, wall, wall wasn't there and i wish if this was really a map of the city of rotterdam that the fair logo is right over the coip i doubt it is but if it was that would be even better i have i have to say of all the ones that i've shown you i like this one the best 
Could this be my first Castori shirt that, that, that I get? Well, if shipping from the Netherlands weren't so expensive and if Fener shirts um, wouldn't be selling so well at the moment, I might as well get this one. But uh, it's a one. But I give this eight. Believe it or not, I really do enjoy this. And we finish Group E in Italy at Lazio, where Mizuno has the second offering. And again, they're not messing up the look, but it's also not really exciting. I mean, it's your plain sky blue jersey. I find the collar and the sleeve cuffs a little bit boring because you know you just have a little bit white and it's all over blue um and also shouldn't the mizuno logo probably be white i don't know what is really cool is that they have the eagle from the crest all over and there's a little bit of crest as the shadow pattern i think that is a cool feature of this shirt but other than that it's a little bit meh i mean it's not bad it is classic lazio it's i'm nitpicky like i'm with the fan or shirt but I find we could have played a little bit more with the um, white. Add a little bit more white. I think we'll, you will have made it a better jersey. Um, like the Feyenoord jersey, I'm going to go with seven here. Um, the away jersey, I think, is really cool. It's uh, in a reference to the 74 championship winning Lazio team. That's why we have the Italian flags uh, there um, with the all-star Lazio crest. or so, you know, 70s, 80s star Lazio crest. And then the navy, I think it's really, really nice looking. Not sure that the shadow striping is as great as it could be, but it's a really nice jersey. One has to say uh, that one goes straight to a nine for me. And Lazio usually has very pleasing color combinations. Uh, the third jersey then again, yeah, I like what they're doing with the neck and the sleeve cuffs. There's a slight patterning in there. I always wonder, does Lazio really need a white jersey when you have a light blue home jersey? That's always the question for, for, for me. Other than that, I th the color is nice, but it's also not a really exciting one. So I will say this is a six star and we're done with Group E. In Group F, we're starting with German almost champions Dortmund. And I'm not showing you the regular home jersey because that I will say for the Bundesliga review. We're looking at the cup jersey. That's the one that's worn in Europe at home and also in the German Cup. And while I can see where the... Um, Inspiration is coming from that's from the 1988 uh, Pokal winning jersey, which was the same template as uh, the famous Holland 1988 jersey. Or was it 8089? Was some of their Dortmund won the cup wearing such a jersey, and that's where this is coming from. Uh, it's very, very clear. It also looks very, very messy, especially with the I mean, it's again the Evonik sponsor, it's not the regular sponsor, the one and one. It's uh, Evonik, which is kind of a little, a little bit old school. But having the yellow band over over kind of destroys the pattern a bit. And then we also see for the first time this really weird Puma collar. Uh, I love me a shirt collar. But do you see the patch on the back? That is solid. So basically the collar, you cannot really turn it upside down, uh, uh, up like Eric Cantona. Because you cannot do it from the back, which is really, really weird. I mean, it looks, uh, when we see Klack, when we Klappach, I saw it first, it looks really cool. That doesn't really work here. The jersey to me is honestly a mess. I like the inspiration, but that's about all that I, I can say. It's it's way too messy for me. Um, I'm going to give this, it, it's a four star. Uh, the away jersey, that's the regular away jersey. Um, I actually do enjoy this one. The color is again a map on there. This is the Borsig Platz where uh, Dortmund fans are celebrating the championships. That's the circle on the bottom and then the streets leading to it. The black. Overall is cool, a little bit trimmed in yellow. That more makes always, always a good look. I wonder, shouldn't the color here also, also been yellow? And if the sponsor would have been really nice, this would the sponsor would, would have been yellow or black and the uh, font in yellow. It's not a bad jer uh, jersey. I'm gonna give this a seven. And let's move on to my team. I'm wearing a Milan away jersey, the home jersey this time, time around. I get the inspiration. It should be a series of M's and they are even on the social media online presence. They are now focusing on the M's. So this is basically M's overlaid by M for Milan, Milano. I still come to the same conclusion. A, it's probably a little bit too much red, which would be great for a third jersey. And this is exactly what I think. This would be an absolute fabulous third jersey, similar to what uh, Inter had two years ago as home jersey with the snake pattern. That was a little bit too blue. That would have made for a great third jersey. This also would have made for a very interesting third jersey. 
it's not a Milan home jersey. And to make it worse, it's also worn with black pants, which is a look that I do not like for Milan. I like Milan with my white pants. So um, I hate to say it. I mean, I have enjoyed Milan this season so far. I don't really have enjoyed this jersey, and uh, namely because it's not a black stripe in there. And it's kind of wishy washy. Um, yeah, not not so so so. so. To me, this falls right down where Dortmund is, um, probably even a step below in three. <laughs> but they make make up for it with a brilliant away jersey. Brilliant! Uh, first of all, it's my favorite design for an away jersey. White with the off-center stripe, and that's why I'm wearing this jersey from 11-12 uh, here. Which I think is still a tad better because it has a little, it gives me a little bit more. This is just a white jersey, uh, jersey with the uh, band and a monochromatic crest, which, which is probably the one thing I don't enjoy with this jersey. But everything else, look how the sponsor is going over the stripe. There's no break in it. This is what this jersey does not do. So that makes that jersey already better. I also like that they try to play with the fashion. They took the uh, slivers above and below the circle in the crest to create a very unique pattern, which looks really, really cool in there. Uh, and then, you know, with a gray um, uh, name, names, names on the back, it's a really nice looking jersey. A really, 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 really. The only downside I can see for me per person is I already have a similar look looking jersey. I don't necessarily need this one, but this might be Puma's best effort. Milan away jerseys under Puma have been really, more miss than hit. Last season was the first one where I said, okay, I see what you're doing. I like it. I bought it. This one here is better. This one is better. Uh, it's an absolute fair, 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 fair jersey. I'm going to give this 10, although I have a few misgivings, but I think I gave the last one also a high grade. And then we have the third jersey, which definitely will divide opinion. Uh, let's get it out of the way first. This is not a Milan jersey. But I understand. Third jersey, you play around with colors. You want to have inclusivity. I get the color gradient, that's all fun. It's all fun, 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 fun games, although I'm not sure why you go down there to the purple and then the green. It looks a little, a little bit weird, especially on, on the back and then you pair it with light blue pants, which is probably the biggest bone of contention for me. I go with purple or even with pink pants. Um, on the other side, this is so unique that, yeah, it's, it's on my radar. My girls love this shirt, of course, so uh, it's pretty high on my uh, on theirs as well. They even would like to have it as well. So, um, yeah, it's not a Milan jersey, but I actually like what they're doing here. So, I'm going to give this a 7 uh, to not put myself uh, way out of line with everyone. I do like it. Let's go over to Newcastle, um, who have... in. It's a very nice looking home home jersey. This is Castori doing nice things. Not so sold on the sponsor, especially with the box tool to the left, but the, the rest I think looks really nice. There's nothing I, I can fault it for. Maybe you could have done a little bit better with the top, but I, I actually think is this also look looks nice. You know, the one, the, the black strap that's going just before the sleeves, that's maybe the one thing that annoys me a little bit. But you cannot really fault it for for what it is. It's a really, really decent, nice low, low looking jersey with a kind of off, off sponsor. Gonna give this nine. Where Newcastle falls off is of course with the away jersey, which is green and by the way, with green in Saudi Arabia, of course. The sleeve cuffs are nice. I'm not sure about the pattern. This you know, this is the uh Razzle, uh camo pattern, but now in green and dark green. Yeah, and also the sponsor look, look, looks a little bit odd. I think all the if the, lo if the sponsor and also the club logo were in white on green, I think this would look better. You don't see the club logo, do you? Oh, the rest. So that's a little bit odd. Uh, not my favorite. I would say this is a five. And third jersey, yeah, I actually liked it better. I like the colors. You know, dar the dark blue and the with a little bit, that's cool. And then a little bit yellow. I think that's actually a nice one, I have to say. Uh, again, crest. Yeah, but I think this 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 one looks over better. I like it. I like I like it. I I want to give this um, also a seven. I think this nah eight. This is an eight star jersey for for me. I think that this is a really nice nice one. I I can get fully on board with that one. And let's finish it in Paris. Uh, yeah, Messi played in this one once. It's of course Kylian Mbappe. He's the big star. 
I get what they're doing and it is not too far removed from a classic PSG look although I would wish that the white borders exactly with the red I know these gradients in there yeah it's a little bit odd I'm a little bit tired of the tent temper because it would be really nice like with the Milan jersey if the stripe would go all the way up to the shoulder uh, they go back to when Ronaldinho was playing it. Uh, it's just that the Ronaldinho shirt that was a little bit offset and looked really cool because it had a floppy collar with a little outline, which uh, via white outline, which made it actually look uh, a little bit more special. This looks very average. I like this design off center stripe, always like, even for a PSG jersey like that. I think I do enjoy this one. It's it, it screams PSG, it's just I find the template is adding it down. And a little bit, they went too far with the gradient, if you ask me. At least the Qatar goes over the red stripe, which is not so bad. And that's why maybe the, having the white stripe and a little bit sooner is not so bad either. But I uh, think it could have been done nicer. Again, the colors for PSG are always nice, so I'm not going to give a low grade. But um, it's a 7. Uh, I really enjoy the away jersey. I love the chest band that uh, goes from one uh, color to the other. Of course, there's some marketing speech in there that's unspeakable. But this one is nice. Even the boomerang shape on the back gives it some, um, how, 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 how to say, gives it some punch. It, uh, it, it's a resource. I like when PSG is in white with the club's colors kind of balanced nicely as it is here. And white with navy better and then have a little bit red. This is a really cool, uh, uh, cool one. Given the template, this looks awesome. I actually want to say this is another 10. I think this is a really striking jer uh, jersey to me. Um, and then we ended with the third jersey that debuted against Dortmund, which uh, per se is a boring Jordan jer uh, jersey in uh, gray, gray, gray with some weird pattern and the center stripe maybe should remind us of PSG. But really the story is the jersey or the, the orange num num numbers that they're using with it, to be frank. Um, I don't get it. Maybe this is fashionable. Maybe this is will sell widely. I think it will sell widely just, just because there's a Jordan logo on there. Uh, it's not my style. It's not my style. Um, it's, I find it disappointing. Gonna go with four stars here. And yeah, was a long video, but I think those were really cool teams in there. Please let me know which jerseys you like in here and where you agree and disagree with me. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. Talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye!